This is an overview video, College Trigonometry, Version 3, from Stitz and Zeger, 10.1, the second part, Applications of Radian Measure, Circular Motion. Circular motion is a very common application of trigonometry. So if we have, we've seen this picture before, we have radius, we have theta is the angle, s is the arc length, s equals r theta. In the homework, you will also cover the area of this, and you'll get A equals one-half R squared theta. This is, comes in the homework. It's another very important formula. You need to know that theta is in radians. Now, the velocity of circular motion, velocity here, V equals R omega. What's important about this is V or length per time, commonly miles per hour or feet per second, but an actual length. R is just the length, feet or miles, and omega is radians per time, so that's an angular frequency. So notice, omega is an angular frequency. There's another type of frequency called ordinary frequency, and that's in revolutions per hour, or more common, revolutions per minute. For example, your car at RPM. Now this formula is used to go from linear velocity to angular velocity and vice versa. They also introduce the period. The period is 1 over the frequency. So if you know the frequency of something you can work out the period because it's just 1 over. One thing this book does not do that you might consider useful is again a relationship that helps you going from linear velocity to angular velocity and vice versa. And that relationship is this. One revolution is two pi radians, but it's also equal to one circumference. And that could either be two pi r or it could be pi d. Some story problems will tell you the diameter of a wheel. Other story problems will tell you the radius. Depending on which one you have, it's nice to know these. So if you knew the diameter, you could work out the circumference and be able to go from linear, the diameter will be in feet or inches, to revolutions or to radians, and bypass this formula and just use conversion factors. This is an option, and there's a lot more examples in the homework. But this is a basic overview of this part of the section.